Hi, my name is Rocco and welcome today to our meditation. Uh, this we call the Archangel Michael meditation. Archangel Michael is the Archangel of the Sun. The Sun is a planet that was created by God and that in our system for what we know in our universe to be true the sun gives freedom and the sun gives option of choice to get, to get higher spiritually nothing can be higher below that is not higher above so if you lose something if you get ill always remember that um, it's because of a spiritual error that you are even displaying sometimes with um, vanity, if you will. <clears throat> a demon will not um, use vanity on things that contradict his strength, power, his health, and especially um, not as important as health obviously but he will also display vanity to create charisma and then followers into that same sin that however only for humans takes um, certain consequences that uh, at times can be fatal and this is never the will of God and this is not an obligation and this is not um, some type of Egyptian curse that was put on people or created by God even so um, truly when people sin and by sin I simply mean two things one to displease um, the Almighty in terms of do something that's against life and this is very generic and secondly to do something that is against your nature both of these things are considered sin so um, church is never about uh, denying your nature to follow another's Jesus nature but because uh, there um, you're turning Jesus into one thing the scapegoat another the devil that he's leading you or he's approving you going places that um, you were taught not to go but uh, in uh, not this dimension but in the dimension of <clears throat> this planet still until judgment day exist only for those who choose unwisely so Beelzebub says uh, do not confuse an enemy with a coward so an enemy is in the standards of Enlil so um, still a god a demon someone who goes against you and someone who does not have pride so someone is unhappy and someone who, is, who um, was betrayed so um, basically um, someone who does not um, seek his help and this is very autocratic and at the same time um, The second point that he um, shows is that um, people do not have to be 
undecisive and people do not have to be over another so everyone deserves space and breath and everyone deserves love so you see how demons truly are not entirely uh, perverted but partly so so Archangel Michael shows us that um, the best way to avoid the confusion that the um, segment of hell called indecision because there are different seg segments and areas in hell that create different illusions one of these is indecision but a lot of illusions are um, plucked and even eaten and metabolized and eventually become you uh, see the Adam and Eve sin that um, proves again that Eve is a sinner and Archangel Michael um, defeats that with the idea of forgiveness and the idea of advancement that brings Adam to show people that in the end he's not a loser but a sinner and like Jesus said um, not the only one for truly uh, to fairly represent things as they are um, when Buddhists say that you have to be enlightened they mean that you have to use your third eye only to see reality this is a technique that is simple and it's a matter of decision Hindus uh, cover when are of the uh, second highest um, tribe or if you will caste uh, that um, is the warrior one and they had it with a dot and this in the um, seldom so uh, subsequent reincarnation when they come again as Brahmi they uh, clearly displayed it with pride and gluttony so that as many people as possible um, open their third eye but uh, a third eye is not um, the same thing as a fruit and this is again what made uh, Eve fall from or be rejected by Jehovah and brought out by Archangel Raphael the healing angel uh, from Eden because um, the apple was also, which happened, considered only for her uh, in the end, a sign of uh, Ajna, meaning she saw that uh, she was born <clears throat> without an important part of herself, and at that point, only the tempter uh, may have, it's believed, uh, given her uh, back what was taken away from her or what was going to be due at a uh, perfect timing so Archangel Michael is that force that stops us when we are close to sin sin is just that something that um, you repent of in the end if you analyze things or that does not make you feel good when you thought so at the beginning because you feel that something will make you feel good but you do not see only that something will make you feel good this is because of the devil is very visual and he's got uh, not as strong as the Sephiroth but uh, quite well endowed in um, al alchemy practice and powers so Archangel Michael meditation now we want to close our eyes and focus the way you do meditate is when you focus 
on peace there isn't one single poster that's sacred because a poster is um, a behavior what is sacred is your spiritual attitude and your idea so if your idea is good and your spiritual attitude is sane then um, you might as well meditate um, like Hindus do flying or with your head upside down whichever way uh, facilitates your um, pleasure because meditation indeed is pleasure uh, and everything is pleasure uh, but uh, taste comes as more um, present at certain times of the day uh, by your choice or perhaps by submission so um, let us imagine the clear sky and you are in a land that's pure and genuine and you are in a place that's safe this is the place that you want to walk on from here on or you can go with Archangel Ariel the lioness of God and walk with the fairies on earth and the earth is a sacred place also like the heavens only the heavens are for the angels to live in and earth is for humans and heaven on earth like Belinda Carlisle sings um, comes after the apocalypse which is a nice event when uh, things change for the better for those who ultimately wish they do so um, Archangel Michael is looking at you from behind and you continue walking on the eternal clouds of divine power and majesty and this is the heavens where you were born as pure crystalline intention by God to give you the best every time and every day walking on this path you see Archangel Raphael and the Virgin Mary together and Mary is looking at you with respect and you show Mary devotion and goodness of heart so that she knows that you were not taken and that she can trust you and the heavens are splendid and magnificent in their shining beauty because everything is connected to the one to source and source energy is the energy that's going to you right now and you feel it so Archangel Michael is coming to you and he's hugging you and he's saying to you beware of those who want to put you down because they give you no freedom and they give you no choice and the choice that he is giving you today is to free yourself by your belief in God and his glory and by doing so you are lifted and automatically what you thought were your wrongdoings were what you thought were your ideas that were not understood now with the idea of Michael 
these thoughts and these ideas are out of your mind and for as m much work as it takes the more holy presence the sun will give you and the sun that Michael follows is the son of God So you continue with your meditation, you salute Mary, and you go back and lay down on the widest, purest clouds of heaven, and Michael comes and lays next to you and he says to you why do you love me not and you feel no guilt no obligation but you feel the need and the necessity to show him that indeed he is right to see love in your heart but you need to beware of false friends and false theories that do not prove physically correct. For if you deny God in your heart, then He cannot be a father to you. So continue breathing and be surrounded by light in its purest form and know that Archangel Michael loves you with his silence and with the sense of fraternity that he gives you for all children of God are united under the sacred sacrament of the Shekhinat, which in um, Judaic culture is the idea that everyone feels around the same mother, which is the universal fountain of wisdom of the goddess Luna, which is a Roman goddess of the moon, who comes in the form of an angel to tell you that you are doing a good job indeed. As a man Archangel Michael cannot speak but to a man's heart he could talk when Jesus said to the people that every time that there was going to be the need for God in people that God Emmanuel was to be found precisely in their solar plexus where everyone's divinity is and that makes you walk with dignity and with modesty and with respect and devotion to the sky So we're calling in together with Michael the angels and archangels of the Cyrus constellation and these angels and these archangels and these pure thought forms that get to you that you're holy that you are a wonderful being that you are without the slightest trace of sin in your heart and at the beginning of your soul create the infinite idea of your power your majesty and your grace so Archangel Michael is telling you 
that you are a pure being of light just like him and that he simply wants you to be who you always wanted to be and to be with whoever you like as long as the star that's in you on your heart is visible and true all humans have angels have it on their forehead um if you look closely enough um lucifer did take it to invert it and god has created his symbol that's the star of david um that israelis have on their flag <clears throat> to testify the six points of power of God simplicity, humility, greatness, splendor, glory, the fifth, and um, magic. Which in Tarot is the card of the lovers. That is a card of love. This is why Eve sin is so childish because he betrays God at peak point. Archangel Michael is giving you the tools that you need to shine the sun of the universe across your soul, your body, and he's slightly lifting your head higher so that you can look at the sky and at the universe with your innocence and with that dignity of being human that you have then he is happy and he is true to you always for this reason Archangel Michael is telling me that you need guidance in being the man or the woman that you desire to be and you deserve to be for this reason Michael is telling me that he wants to help you to become a better person and to become the perfect conjunction between the earth and the sky like our father Adam who came from God from the stars to give you life and to keep it forever so Archangel Michael is shining the pure light of God and his glory onto your soul and through it to forever keep you and guide you and to show you that you have no enemy in his sight. So you wake up, you open your eyes in this meditation and you realize that um, the idea of his wings give you comfort and the idea of Jesus face gives you peace and tenderness for you know that um, dying for you he never betrayed the idea of purity truly for he washed the earth with his blood to take away the influence of all evil spirits from the ground 
so that gods and goddesses uh, goddesses sorry do not have power to touch you slightly when you walk around or to pull you down like it was in the past like it was a party that was going to start and uh, every day in the life of an angel is blissful and you take part of that if you want and uh, perhaps one day your flight that stay where perfection is and um, good eyes are for you and Archangel Michael tells you that um, now you are already a light warrior for you comprehended the meaning of silence and the meaning of trueness and walking in silence and walking in truth you truly are anointed and you truly are forgiven thank you So make sure not to talk to anyone or to keep at least a relaxed state for the next few minutes, 10 minutes perhaps. And uh, always remember that Christ said, do not believe in others when you are not present. always trust the source directly and bend the events of the modern times in a way that you won't be appreciated but people will live happily thank you and I will see you later for another video ciao